How many people, by a show of hands, know the name Kenneth Chamberlain? It's not enough. White Plains is not too far from here, and Kenneth Chamberlain, not too many years ago, was killed by the White Plains police. He was killed in his home. He was killed for nothing more than being a black man veteran with PTSD. The police burst into his home and killed him in his home, the place where people are supposed to feel safe. He lost his life. Wow, it's happening. Yep, okay. Um, I didn't prepare exactly what I wanted to say today because there's, there's too much that I wanna say. Um, there's too much that people need to hear and there's too much that falls to the wayside when we hear people say things like all lives matter, when we hear people say things like blue lives matter. That dynamic, that conversation about there are good cops, that's not the point. It's the, it's the institution of policing. It's the fact that we don't get to police our own communities. It's the fact that we don't listen enough. These police officers who are here today, I have no issue with any of them. I want them here, I want them listening, I want them hearing but I want them telling their friends that listening is not enough. That the gun that is on their hip is not meant to hurt, it is meant to keep people safe, and that the only way to keep people safe is by listening to the people that you are policing. That's in Valhalla, that's in White Plains, that's in Pleasantville, that is in, in Ferguson, that is everywhere through these United States of America. And I see some signs that say silence is not enough and that white silence is violence and all of those things. And so I want you to hold yourselves to that. The amount of people who are here can change the scope of this movement. I don't wanna see the, the social media stop. I don't wanna see these sort, of, these, these sort of representations stop because for too long it has been hashtag, hashtag woke. Hashtag Black Lives Matter, and then we go about our lives, and we go on our vacations, and we go back to our jobs that we don't hold, a, hold accountable for the system of racism. How many of your jobs have an anti-racist policy? Ask them about it. Force them to make it. How many schools teach? And how many schools prepare all of you to be anti-racist? They don't. How many stories do you hear about my ancestors? Because when I, was at, when I was in school, there was maybe three or four. Martin Luther King, Barack Obama, those are incredible individuals who have done incredible things, but they are not enough. Our country says that we are for the people, by the people, but we need to be the people that create the United States of America that, that, that holds itself to their end of the bargain. Are we free? Doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it. I don't want to fear for my father. I don't want to fear for my brother. I don't want to fear for the people who I love more than anything else. And if you come to this protest, I know that you want something to change and the change will only happen when each and every one of you say that enough is enough and you mean it. Enough is enough. This is not the end, this is the beginning. When you leave here today, who are you gonna to talk to? Are you gonna ask your parents to change the way that they're having this conversation? Are you going to ask them to do something else? Are you going to go back to school in September and demand, not ask, that the school talk about what happened? Are you going to ask, not, are you going to demand, not ask, that every single one of your employers create an anti-racist policy in that place? Are you going to demand it? If you don't demand it, it will not happen. It is not my job to continue to demand it. It is each and every one of yours. And I see a lot more white faces than I do black, and we need the white faces to use the power and privilege that you have to make the change that needs to happen. It is not enough to stand here. I appreciate you being here, but it's not enough to stand here with a sign. We need so, so, so much more than that. And so all that I am here to say is to ask and implore and demand that we hold our institutions, we hold our police officers, we hold our communities to the standard of the United States of America. What is in the Constitution needs to come to fruition. Those people who wrote that document had slaves. So they had a bias. That matters, that history matters. And so again, 
Pleasantville, Westlake, Valhalla, White Plains, every single one of those schools, where it, what, are, what are they doing? What's happening? Where are they? Where are the principals? They should be standing with us and figuring out how next year is going to be different. It has to be different. I don't know where each and every one of you work, but it has to be different. How many brands, how many beauty brands, how many clothing brands, what are they saying? I don't want an email. I don't. Oh, we stand with black, how many people ordered from Amazon at some point this week? Black Lives Matter, right at the front of Amazon. What is Jeff Bezos doing, sending an email? I don't want that. I want a whole lot more. And we only get a whole lot more when we make a ruckus, when we scream, when we yell, when we protest, when we show that we are not gonna stop. We are not gonna be quiet. We are not gonna be silent. We are not going to buy your brand. We are not going to get on that, that show. We're not gonna watch it. If that show doesn't address what's going on, I'm not watching it anymore, period. Right. Period. And so all I have to say in this, to end this conversation is that do not stop. When the social media posts stop, when, what will you do? Where will you go? Who will you talk to? Because if we stop now, it's going to, it's going to happen again and again and again and again in our communities until it's somebody that you love. Don't stop and stop asking. Demand. Thank you.